Did you call me? Sorry, I was just going through your medicine cabinet. Okay, boring. No valid doll stuff at all. Can't help but wondering why all the lubricants, though. <laughs> just tell me when you're ready. You know. Take your time. What did you? You know what I said about not drinking anything you didn't mix yourself? That's good advice for everyone. Look, I'm sorry you were drunk for so long. I mean, I didn't follow for my dad, and he didn't come with directions. It's not like I could just ask him how much to use. So I probably used too much. And the screwdriver's affecting my judgment. You think? Here, have some water, and I'll help you come too. It's real water, Scout's Honor. Why, uh, why do I get tied up first if this is how we're going to play? Chef, playtime is over. Now it's time to wake up. This isn't fun. True, true. Is this some kind of teenage joke? Teenage? Yes. Joke? No. All right, let me go. Patience. Let me go. Patience. Let me go! Patience! I'm just checking out the side of the house. Okay? You know, I watched this one cop show once. It was great. And well, the killer got some of the victim's blood on his shirt, and sure, he tried to wash it, but some of it got stuck in the lint trap, so, well, I mean, anything in here I should know about? What the fuck are you doing? That's kind of been my question, Jeff. What the fuck are you doing? Living in a house full of pictures of half naked teenage girls? Oh, none of whom you've ever done it with. Help! Help! <coughs> There's really no point to me taking any risks. <coughs> yeah, technically I can let you scream your fucking brains out because nobody would ever hear you. Yeah, I waited till today because the coal lamps, they're at work. And the caracoses, well, they're vacationing in Santa Barbara. Still, I can't have some pedestrian happening by if you're screaming, so shut up or next time it's gonna be bleach, okay? You've been stalking me. Okay. All right, let's get this straight. You've been stalking me. Yeah. I went to different chat rooms with different screen names, and you would get to know each woman. As soon as you found out they were any older than me, you would drop them. Like that. You took your time sipping out someone my age. Look, I didn't talk to the others because they were boring. You and I connected. Oh. <laughs> right. Oh, come on, you don't think I could have made all that up? Actually, it's kind of funny. Because every time I'd mention some, like, obscure singer or band, you would know so much about them. But not right away. Maybe to give you a few minutes to look them up on the web? Jeff, you use the same phrases about gold rap as they do on Amazon.com. <laughs> Bust. By the way, I fucking hate gold frat. Okay, look, I wanted to impress you. Am I the first guy to do something stupid to impress a girl? Does that really deserve to be tied up and tortured? Torture? Is this torture to you? Because, wow, because you've never read anything from the Human Rights Watch or Amnesty International, because <laughs> this, this is nothing. I mean, of course you're not the first guy to lie to a girl, Jeff. The operative word here would be girl. You know how old I am. What makes someone who's barely past her first period worth all that research? Gotta wonder about a grown man who does such trouble to impress a girl. There's that word again, girl. You know, maybe it's this whole camera thing. Computers, cameras, they let you hide them, don't they? So safe. I heard how your voice changed when the camera came between us. My voice changed because I felt sick because you drugged me. Yeah, you were drugged all right. And the drug was sweet little 14 year old. Look, I'm a decent cheating. guy. Ask these models, they'll tell you. Of course they will, Jeff. You're not an idiot. You don't piss where you live. Those girls were your work, and I, on the other hand, was your play. You were coming on to me. Oh, come on. That's what they always say, Jeff. Who? Who? The pedophile's Jeff. She was so sexy, she was asking for her. She was only technically a girl, she acted like a woman. It's just so easy to blame a kid, isn't it? Just because a girl knows to imitate a woman doesn't mean she's ready to do what a woman does. I mean, you're the grown-up here. If a kid says something flirtatious, you ignore it. You don't encourage it. If a kid says, hey, let's make screwdrivers, you take the alcohol away and you don't race in the next drink. Look, I've been lonely, and that makes me stupid.
stupid. But, but I'm not phony, and therefore not stupid. Let me go, and we can get all this happen. I'm gonna tell you now, you might understandably be a little pee. So when I'm ready to go, I'll call a cab, and I'll call another one and let you loose. Oh, and when will that be? I'm not sure yet. Yeah.